Oh! <laughs> Hello, everybody! Salty Sweet Ren here, and welcome back to Stray, where I guess, upon loading up the game, a bunch of boxes and stuff just, like, flew over. I don't know what- I don't know what just, what the heck just happened, but, uh... That happened, I guess, so guys, welcome back! Uh, I need to re-equip myself with the controls a little bit, because it's been a little while for me since I've last played. Yeah, get yourself a little drink, buddy. Oh man, uh, last time we uh, arrived in the slums, actually. We're still here in the slums. But uh, we wound up, um, we're on the search right now for some journals. I think we got most of them. We're just sending everything flying. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I don't remember if we got the journal in here. I think we got three or four of them. Was this the fourth place or am I wrong? Or am I just misremembering? Uh, how did I, was it? Um, I'm trying to remember, how did I open up the thing? Yeah. Uh, was it? Yeah, up here. We have one, four, and two. We're missing three. We have Momos, Clementines, and Spaltazar. So we're missing one more from somebody I don't remember the name of. We also have a bunch of sheet music. We have five, one, six, and that's about it. Don't know what the sheet music does. Curious to know. I want to explore until I figure out if there's like anything I missed here. Okay, I think that this is like where I was like kind of confused like, oh, did we reach a checkpoint yet? So did we did we actually reach the checkpoint already or am I still going to have to like search stuff? Uh, I think, uh, let's go and see if we can find another one of these places. Um... Let's see, we can go up here. Have we been over there yet? I feel like we have. We've been here. I think we've been there. There should be like at least one more place that would have one of these things. I like the music here, though. Not sure why the music's so dramatic in this spot, but... Okay, I guess that meowing's not gonna do a thing over here, but, uh... Let's see... Hi, Mito! I love the weather right now! Okay, well, uh, do you have any ideas? I'm looking- there's another, like, blue area over there, but I don't know if that's, like, the blue we're looking for, or if it's just, like, general lighting. Okay. Over there? Ooh, yeah, over there. Let's go. Oh, hello. What you doing? Those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Huh, so you actually believe that it's real? 
You know, I know that you're curious about... I guess I get- oh yeah, we don't have the postcard anymore, but... Oh. Oh! We can curl up and nap! Oh my goodness, look at you! Oh, I can hear the purring. Oh, this is too good. Is anything gonna happen? Because the camera is, like, zooming out on its own. And the thing that said stop disappeared. So... Oh my gosh, I... Simba's here, so I'm, I'm petting Simba, because I just, like, want to sink my hands into that fluffy fur. He was a sleepy kitty, too. He's just like... Okay, he went... Simba does want snuggles, yes. You get some- you get some scritches, booby. Yeah, you're a good baby, huh? We're just kind of like, zooming all the way out here. I don't know- I don't know uh, what I'm supposed to be looking for here, because I definitely see the thing that we're supposed to be going to next. Is it really just a matter of- Oh! Music! Anyways, I think it's a good thing that we're letting the little kitty rest. There's Momo's place right there. I'm- I'm enjoying this music, honestly. This is just very pleasing to watch. <laughs> this is very pleasing to me. I like this. I, I, I kind of like want to press triangle and see if like I can stop because I don't think anything's happening. I don't want to interrupt the music, you know? There's another robot hanging out over there. Okay, I think the music's done now. I think we're... That's an ominous sound. Okay, I think we can stop sleeping now. Oh yes, get that big stretch in. Okay, how do we get over here now? Oh. There we go. Oh, there- <gasps> Can we watch the TV? Boop! <gasps> we turned the TV on! I have no idea what we're watching here. Oh, the robots are actually telling the news now. Okay. And there's a lucky cat there. Let's see, what else is on? Is that supposed to be weather? Or some sort of report on, like, locations, maybe? I don't know if it's weather, or... Oh, it there's, like, rain clouds and moons. So I'm not sure exactly what that's trying to tell us. What's this? Is this a game show? It looks like a game show, probably. Anyways. I could just get lost in this world. Okay. Oh, there's so many books. How, how am I supposed to find a journal in here? Okay. This is a lot of books. Oh, 
Translate, what's that? Hey doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe beneath a bunch of books. Just the librarian. Huh. So maybe the maybe the safe is where the journal is. And it's been buried beneath a bunch of books. So we should probably knock over all the books, all the stacks of books. At least that's my guess. Don't know what else we're expected to do. Ah, uh, that one didn't fall. We got catapult. Huh. Oh, we just landed on this one. Did that make any difference? Oh! Oh! Yes! We found it! All right, and the keys. Oh dear. I cannot read, but we're taking that. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on their way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh! There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Ooh, that's nice. Let's show him what we found. Yeah, let's go, let's go find Momo again. I wonder if we can mess with that record player. I don't think so. That'd be, that'd be fun if we could. Anyways, two Momos we go. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, down here. All right, now we need to get up there. I'm getting the hang of like moving around a little bit more quickly like a cat would. Hey, Momo, we're here. Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Uh, I would say we have found them. Let's show you Doc's notebook. Oh, it belongs to Doc. He was a he, he really was a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. I'm pretty sure like he had the thing that said like how to fix it though, right? Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Uh, let's show them. Uh, Clementine's? Oh, you found Clementine's notes? She really was brave, you know. The most fearless person I have ever met. Hey, little cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? And Spaltazar's. That's Spaltazar's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Wait! You've actually found all my friend's notebooks? Yep. Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible! That means we should be able to communicate outside the slums. Awesome! Clementine, Spaltazar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I pro I'll promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Yeah, that's the spirit. I, I get the feeling you won't, based on just general mood of the game, but still. Thank you. We might be able to find a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Alright. 
Let's get this fixed up, Momo. Et voila! It works! Come with me! Oh, you're opening this? Up there! See that building high above the others? Uh, that one over there? Or is it something I can't see from here? I'm guessing it's that one. If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. Okay, so I'm guessing it is that one with the little red light at the top. If there is a way out, they'll know it. And we got the transceiver! You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Alright, we're the only one who can avoid the Zerks. And, uh, we got shut out. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, we will find our way... Hang on. Oh, that's a long drop. Okay, cool. Uh, we will find a way over there, I guess. No Zerks that I can see here. Controller's vibrating in my hand. It hasn't done that at all today, so I'm a little concerned. Rooftops. Oh, that's... That's concerning over there. See an arrow over here. Can we not walk across this thing? I guess not. Oh no, we're gonna have to do a chase scene, aren't we? I do not like that. I've been watching, um, I try to avoid spoilers. Like I watch up to the point where I, where I get to on some other people's like streams and gameplay. And the number of times, I didn't even know you could actually die in some of the Zerk scenes and in the Zerk chases. And I'm like, oh no, that's not good. I was watching Jackson Galaxy. You know, you know that show My Cat from Hell where like he's t telling people like basic cat behavior stuff that they ignore when they're, and they're like, why is my cat attacking me? And like, it's like, dude, you're probably petting your cat wrong or something. Okay. How do we get past these guys? I do not like this. Okay. But yeah, he was playing the game. He got so upset. He like died seven times in the first chase scene because he did not know how to... Okay, gotta remember the run. What was that? I did not like that. Okay. Is there any way for me to avoid... Could I jump up there, perhaps? Okay, I don't think this, these ledges are... How am I gonna get past them? I... Am I, am I literally just gonna have to run for it? I don't like that. Okay. Oh crap, where do I go from here? Okay. I don't think they can jump. Okay, we're safe. For now. I don't like this! <laughs> Got a paint bucket here, though. Oh no. Oh, I really don't like that. This is not good. Oh, but I need to get to... Oh, there's a tower over there. How... Oh. 
How am I supposed to get over there? Oh, don't tell me I have to like go in like a circle or a loop. Oh wait, no, there's no way over there, is there? Is there? Oh, I- that membrane-looking thing is not pleasant. I'm concerned. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh. Oh, oh no, that's not good. One of them jumped up here. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Run, 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 run. I cannot control this enough. Okay. Please tell me they cannot jump this high. And they all just disappeared over there. Okay, sure. Oh boy. I don't like this. Can I not jump up here? No, apparently not. Come on. Okay, up there maybe? Yeah. Okay. Dunno. Don't see any zerks. Okay, good. Remember. This city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. Oh, that's not good. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors ag again, like on the outside. I think it helped. Okay, so we're slowly recovering some memories. Is this where we're supposed to be? Don't know how to get up from here, but... Oh. Oh, this beam is swinging! Uh, no, I can't get up there. Okay, maybe jump back onto the beam? Oh. Very precarious, but, you know, we'll, we're doing what we can. Hmm. Okay. Gonna get inside of here. Gonna roll this. Okay, I don't think it's gonna fall off the edge because there's like a metal thing there. Oh, my controller does not like this. <laughs> my controller is vibrating. <gasps> oh, this place looks zerky. See all that creepy flesh stuff? Where am I going from here? Where's the tower? Oh, there it is. Simba, I cannot see my screen. I have a feeling I'm gonna need to be able to see my screen. He's moved in front of my screen. Oh, I do not like this place. I'm not gonna have to jump into the Zerk stuff, am I? Oh, that is just- this is just creepy and gross. I do not like- 
You know, there's another pipe. There's like another metal thing here, though. It feels like it's taking me away from the tower, weirdly. I cannot see where the tower is anymore. Or wait, is that the tower? I, I literally don't know what I'm doing now. Is it safe? I don't trust that. Look at that. I do not trust that and I do not trust this music. Run. Oh. Oh! Hack door. Yeah, see those? I did- this is what I was afraid of. Okay, if I hack the door, what will happen? Where do I go? Okay. I have some concerns. I think I know what I have to do. I have to roll that without... They're gonna come after me if I jump over here, though. That's the problem. Yeah, see? I think what I have to do is jump up here. There we go, see? Okay, thank goodness. I don't like this. Is this making like a suction-y sound? The music's getting more intense. I do not like this. Oh, that's just gross. What was that noise? Okay, I, I do not like this. We're going. This noise is just pure awful. I- I am genuinely upset by this. Oh boy. Okay. Where do I go from here? This looks precarious. I see a save thing. The autosave feature is going off. I have to find a way up there, though. How the heck... Is that the one I have to go to, or is it something I can't even see anymore? Oh, no. You see over there? I do not like that. I get the feeling... I remember from watching series that like she was calling those eggs and I didn't notice my first time playing, but I'm pretty sure those were like hatching as she was passing them. So I get the feeling that something very bad is about to happen. This is just seeming like a very bad idea over here. Oh boy. You know what? I'm going to the next auto- I'm gonna keep playing till the next auto save and then I'm gonna like... I don't know, wait till next episode I guess? I am spooked. This just does not look good. I swear, these things are gonna hatch. I know somebody mentioned jump scares at some point. I don't know who, I don't know if like, 
it was like on a Discord server or like in one of my comments. I just remember. Okay. I do not like this. Oh, that spooks me. That fabric right there. Where do I go from here, even? I'm gonna have to knock that over. Okay, I know what I gotta do. Okay. Oh no, are they gonna- are, go are they gonna like start following me into the tunnels or something? Oh! Okay. I do not like this. It's been two minutes since my last checkpoint. I- <laughs> I do not like this. Okay, okay. Oh. I'm hearing Zerk sounds for sure. Okay. Um, you know what? Technically speaking, I'm going to, um... I'm gonna wrap up this episode here. I'm gonna, like, move on to, uh, recording the next one right away. Because, oh boy, my nerves are getting to me, and... I know I'm, like, not good with, like, high-stress stuff. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, like, pause the game and take a breather. But, and do, I'm gonna end the episode for now here. Take a breather and then come back, gonna come back and record next. But guys, thank you so much for watching Stray. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below letting me know whatever you think about what's going on. Um, and, uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing! Subscribing is completely free, and you can always unsubscribe at any time, but subscribing really helps the channel. So once again, guys, thank you, and I will see you in the next episode. Stay safe out there, everybody!